Welcome back, everybody. I found a John Deere. Now it's actually by attraction. But well, welcome back. How y'all doing? Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, what are we doing? What are we doing? First of all, this is Field 23. I, I, uh, last episode, I told y'all I cut all the trees down. And just to show y'all here, you don't have access to this land. And then it goes pretty much straight across so uh anyway got a little bit up here at the farm market but first uh oh wrong button let me get my hood back on here um yeah, same as 17 i just lower it down i know i don't have access i'm just trying to find my boundary line okay we should start mowing right here. There we go. Now we're mowing grass. Folks, welcome to FS19, Farming Simulator 19, here on Ravenport. Today we're going to be doing some mowing, some tattering, 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 uh, breaking, and bailing. Uh, we gotta turn this grass into hay, and this will be probably stored. And uh, if we have time after that, which I doubt we will. But first of all, this is gonna be a long episode. Probably it's gonna be broken down in pieces. Um, just to let y'all know that. Uh, lots of jump cuts. As you can see, some grass we can't mow. Um, is it V? Uh, that's, is it Z? No, X. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't want that. Pull it back down. How about B? No. Folks, what I'm trying to find, on 17, there was a button that you can push and it would raise up the front and back attachment at the same time. No matter what you had, it would raise it up. We don't get in the canola. Don't mow the canola. And um, it would raise both of them up at the same time. So when you come out to the end, it would raise front and then raise back. Or depend on whichever way you're going, I guess. But, uh, yeah, this is field 23. You can see the little mini map down there. Um, shouldn't take that long to mow. Uh, we got canola here. It's ready, but it's not quite ready. If that makes any sense. Um,. It's, it's yellow instead of the dark orange on, on the map. I'll show y'all here in a second. i to find my boundary line. It shut me off here. Okay. Perfecto. Groovy mondo. <laughs> I had no idea, folks. I just got through recording yesterday's episode. And, uh... Yeah, I'm doing them all in one day. I try to. Uh, it's actually 3 p.m. Kids should be home in about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Um, it's a Tuesday. Uh, I can't think of what day it is, so I'm sorry about that. I just know it's Tuesday before the 21st of December, 2018. And uh, I'm recording yesterday's and today's. That gets confusing, don't it? <laughs> I know. But um, I'm going to do a, a round this field so y'all can kind of see. I went ahead and kind of took out the brushes here because it was all crappy looking. I told them to clean it up, so... 
they didn't, so I did. But we're going to do all the way around this field, up there and up to the fence line up there. I'm just going to go ahead and go straight. And uh, that'll be my ends. And I'll go up and down that way. But I just want to come up here and show y'all how far this goes. Before I do a jump cut, of course. See, these bushes are really annoying. And for me to take them out with the train tool, grass won't grow back. I might not need to be cutting this. Can I turn around? Turn that back on. Turn that back on. Let's see if we'll get some grass out of this. Don't look like it's going to be very much. Because of the way it's so rough. But what I'm planning on doing, of course, you know, I'm going to probably smooth all this out and bring the plow in here. Pile up and plant grass back. Holy cow. Must have a lot building up. Or cut one of those bushes down or something. Okay. Raise these up. But yeah, we're gonna have to plow all this. And what I'm thinking, since I don't have a grass field, when I get done with this canola, I'm going to go ahead and plant as grass. The whole thing. Because we're going to be getting horses. Um, Got to get us a decent small combine first. And after we get the combine, make some more money. And when we can, we're going to... I'm going to start with the small pen first. And then I'm going to go, a uh, small pen, you only have eight horses. That's where it's building up right here. I, I was wondering why it wasn't. Oh, there's the front mower up. Yeah, back down. I was wondering why it wasn't putting out no grass when I was mowing it. Just build it all up over here. I got a little piece right there, but I'm going to go ahead and go this way now. One thing about this, I can't hire no worker. Then I'm going to go hire a worker. It just picks the whole thing up. And just stops. So. But that's just part of it, I guess. But, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, where, where am I, I was talking about, um, if I plow all this up, and then plant it in seeds, I mean grass seeds, I'll be able to hire a worker and fertilize it more and all that good stuff. As I'm getting right now, I'm just not getting very much. You know, it'll have one stage growth and that's it. But if I plow, plant it as seeds, grass seeds, and then turn around, uh, do it that way, I can fertilize it twice. And uh, probably lime it and all that good stuff so I can get some good, good, good grass. Which will turn into hay. Uh, I'm going to start going down there. But folks. Uh, let me go ahead. And finish mowing this. And I'll get back with you. When I bring the tether. I'm just going to lease the tether. Because uh, I can't afford to buy a big one. I uh, don't really need a big one. I just need uh, like a 6 meter. Or, or a little bit bigger than a 6. 
And uh, but let me do a jump cut. When I come back, we'll be Tedding. Okay. Back in a second. Oop, wrong button. I'm crazy, folks. I <laughs> once we got the stuff, lease it from the dealership, and uh, go old buddy John in there and said, uh, you better take it around back and let them uh, put a three-point hitch linkage on the front. I'm like, oh, crap. I forgot all about that. So, uh... Repair, $115, must be the oil change. Uh, we're going to customize it. Um, heh, oh, yeah. Come here, mouse. We are going to go... Oh, oh. With standard tires. Yeah, we're going to go with standard tires. Um... Does this have the three-point hitch linkage? Maybe John don't know what he's talking about. Front loader attach it? No. Um, has to be here. Oh, you can't hook up it. Oh man. Might well put the front loader attach it back on it. That's just. I want to keep the standard tires on there, but I want the front loader attachment, so, um, customize. Yay. Now let's look at her. Oh, yeah. We gotta get a one that has a front attacher, oh, but has a skinny tires, too. Well, we probably won't be doing any fertilizing right yet in crops. Folks, we got to go back up front here, grab our tether and wind roller. I went ahead and leased them. But I thought I was going to be able to carry them on the front here. They're a magical button, which I doubt it. I'm going to try this anyway. Nope. Can't blame a guy for trying, huh? Hmm. Well, I need the tether first, so this is where I wish I was able to carry off. Well, folks, like I said, bunch of jump cuts, so I'll see you back at field 23. All right, we are back. Let's get this baby unfolded. This is the one I'm actually thinking about going to buy there's one a little bit bigger turn this thing up i want to show y'all real quick though tethers it's this middle one 16,000. i leased it for 816 but that's one i want but it's a pull type but this in here is 8.7 and it's pretty wide It's pretty wide. I, I gotta say that. I don't want to get too close into. Oh, I gotta go over a little. I don't want to throw the hay up in the canola. Ah, get I think it's doing all right, though. Yeah, I'm about to turn my emergency flashers off. It's, it's 7.30 in the morning, but I can't remember what day I'm on, folks. I, I really can't. Is there any such thing as a day without seasons? Tractor does pretty good with these rugged tires on us. Can't really see them up in here, but we got to get a pressure washer soon. Hey, wait a minute now. Why didn't you... There you go. Don't don't skip none. 
think that's because I came out of... No, no, it's not because of the menu. Maybe it's because I'm going too fast? Yeah, I don't know, folks. I might go back over there. I'm going to turn my stuff down. I was going about 11. Let's go about 8. See if that helps. Everybody trying to text me at once. Of course, like I said, uh, this was yesterday. When y'all when y'all seeing this, that was recorded yesterday. So I can put it out, you know, up to date. But uh my daughter hurt her hand at school and uh, my mom went and picked her up. But uh they went to the doctor just in case and good thing because it's the same one that she broke before we was at a camping grounds up Lake Poinsett and her and her female friends was running around oh there's another one don't do that why are we doing this but she was running around she actually broke her hand and we had to come back early <sighs> And uh look like we're having troubles with that again. Just like I'm having troubles of this, not Ted. Looks like I can't turn. And I should be able to go wide open with this, but going slower does seem like it's doing a better job. So you didn't get none of that. It might be because where it's on a hill. Oh, whoa. whoa. And you see right here it's up on a hill, so that might be because of it. Yeah, see it's kinda Oh, don't get in the canola. Now I'm raising this up. I'm gonna back up. Try this again. But my truck's down, so I couldn't go anyway. It's, we got two vehicles. Uh, my mom's got a car, and I got my truck. But y'all saw my vlogs. Uh, my truck's currently down. Uh, wheel bearings going out, and that's about 100, 189, I believe. And uh, so I gotta get that fixed. Actually, I was running pretty good right there. I'm going to up my speed to let it go. It's 11 mile an hour. I think it's just because the train isn't level. And I got to be, you know, a certain way. So. Um, I'm going to go up here once again. Do this. Yeah, it looks like it's. Yeah, that's what it is. You can see. I'm gonna have to back up in there and go out because the way it's tilted. Um, go over here and show y'all this, and then I'll probably do another jump cut. Oh lordy. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to do the same with that. We're doing pretty good out here. Well, it was. Let me show y'all this. Uh, it, it mowed that up there, but collected it. And as soon as I got down here, it just 
Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of hay right here. I'm gonna do this two or three times just to make sure it's done. As you can see right there, it's a lot. And of course, it don't wanna do it because of the hills. Well, folks. I'm not going nowhere. I'm just going to get ready. Oh, slow down. And get ready to do a uh, jump cut again. If I don't quit wrecking this thing, they might charge more money for it being damaged. I know some of the equipment that you pull behind you can repair, and some you can't. I got big blue pile I got. I can repair it, but the little red one, it won't let me. As is like right here, I didn't see whoa, anything, so I think it got all of it. What a spot right there. It's just not going to calculate it. But, uh, I'll run the wind roller over it just in case let's do this right here and then we'll do a jump cut do, do, do. Whoa, whoa big hill big pile of hay now I do it a couple of times just to get it worked in real good oh now there's my phone finally got charged but anyway, folks, I'm going to do a jump cut, and uh, I'll bring you back when I get the wind roller, okay? And then uh, when we come back, I'll also explain about the uh, why I'm not harvesting right yet. And uh, yeah, be back in a little bit. All right, everybody. <sighs> Welcome back. Welcome back. It's, it's currently the next day for me. Uh, I was recording this yesterday, the beginning of it. Quarter about 20 minutes worth. Uh, probably about 35, but I cut it down to 20. Um, sorry, folks. I already started uh, wind rolling all that over there. Got some mud bailed up. And uh, I'm just got this big piece right here. I had to go back and watch the clip what all I was saying and stuff because I totally forgot I, I really totally forgot um, but one thing I, I noticed was why am I not harvesting well I'm not harvesting the canola yet one I don't have the money for a harvester <sighs> if I didn't lease this equipment and stuff I probably would have had it but we got to get the grass and stuff off of this before we can plow it. Because I don't want to waste this. And plus we need it for the horses that we're fixing to get. Uh, next couple of episodes. I don't know exactly which episode. But we are going to get some. And I'm going to see what I'm on. Third is. Well it's not ready. It looks ready but it's just not ready. And I will show you all that here in just a few seconds. Turn around here. Um, and, and another thing why I want to plow this is right now if I go hire a worker, boom, they completed their task. Because it's not technically a field like that is. So we're going to change that. Alright, I'm going to go in here and show y'all the growth. It's showing 23. Ready to harvest is yellow, uh, kind of orange, and a dark orange. Uh, well, we want the dark orange. Now, if you're doing uh, seasons or withering, you probably want to go to the orange right here um i don't know if there's any on this map yet most is still growing 
Yeah, reds uh, remove tops for like tomatoes and sugar beets. But anyway, y'all will see that in the next episode or two with the color differences here uh, for the new ones. But I see this wheel here, I planted it first beside, you know, on my three, four here. Well, one, two, three, four, actually, but I just got three. Uh, this is still asphalt. But, uh, this, uh, I want these to turn at least this color to this color. That way, all of them should be done. The time these two fields here get to this color, these two here should be at least uh, this and or that. And, but uh, anyway, I, that's the uh, reason why I'm not harvesting. It's because it's not really ready. And... Let's go ahead and do the baling. I got this section here done. All the way down. I uh, just got to pick up the bales there. And then uh, we got one little pass right here. I got to do. Probably going to save it for last on the way out or something. But there you can see the property line. Down through there. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a straight line plow uh, all the way down. I can't remove that tree that's on their property. And I got it set for 10 mile an hour. I don't know why I come over here at 10 mile an hour, but it gets kind of fast when you uh, don't have a straight line. And if I wanted to speed up, I can just use my... Uh, trigger button my right bottom button whatever it is I think it's uh, RT if I'm not mistaken uh, we got the bells coming out uh, it's doing pretty good uh, if you look over to the right you'll see my trailer over there that I bought that is ours and um in between uh, when you saw the I'm um, back label hopefully it showed up um, well I don't know what I'm trying to say here anyway before I came back and the, the beginning of the clip and this clip of this video in between I done three fertilized missions and I put that money back towards what I spent for the trailer and uh, renting the uh, tether and wind roller. That ro wind roller there is uh, leased, so uh, it'll be going back as soon as I'm done. Alright, just about got him. And I'm gonna shut the baler off. I'm gonna back up here and poop these bales out. That way, there's kind of like two in the same pile. Uh, there's a plow right up there, and if you look, or right, well, you probably can't see it, but right over the plow is our mowers. All right, gotta get this thing going back. Y'all hear that helicopter? I've been looking all in the sky and can't find it. So I think it's just a sound. Alright, I see that's down. So let's go. Um, I guess, folks, let me uh, finish rolling this. And I'm going to bail some of it. And then I'll be back to show y'all the bell trailer. Okay. We'll be back in a second.
Welcome back again, folks. I hate it when a tool don't work, especially when you paid for it. All right, this is uh, one of the new mods. It's a uh, this a bell spike. But it's got a belt tensioner thing on it. Um, see right there, fasten, unfasten tension belts. Well, right now I have them fastened, and watch this. I raise up. Now I don't know what this is supposed to fasten, but uh, definitely ain't the bell. Now it might be for a round bell, but it did not say. Anybody knows anything different? Let me know. I see. I want to unfasten. Just to show you. Fasten, unfasten. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna tilt back. Let it slide down. I'm gonna fasten it. And off it goes. Hey, come back here, Bell. Come back here. But that's why I don't do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't do things like that. I just. I don't have the patience for it, folks. So I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I just, I like my auto load trailers, and that's exactly what I got. Um, can't remember how many bales it holds, but I do like one thing about it already. Um, bailing technology is it under that? Should be under that. And here they are. You got the round belt and you got the square bell, 16,000. And you can see this one here, the square bell, we got one, so we do own it. Uh, this is the least symbol here, so that means we're on. So 24 bells is what holds, and this is what I like about it. You don't even have to count, because look down at the bottom right corner, 17 bells on it already. So, that's what I'm talking about. All I gotta do now is just mosey along and try to find all my bales that's not hidden in brushes. Next thing we're gonna do, folks, is we're going, um, yeah, it's kind of got a bug on it. Watch this, you know, it's two there. Watch when I pick these up. Come on, real slow. See that, it didn't show nothing. But when you go pick the second one up, bam, it's there. Um, got the plow. I was fixing to start plowing, and I'm like, no, Mr. Blue, no. I have to level this ground out before I do any plowing, because... We plow first, then level out. You're just going to have to plow again because this puts down uh, grass that you can't mow. And it takes away all the pretty grass. And um, I wouldn't call it funky, but you've seen how over by the shop area is. See, so two, four, so we should be even. And all right, we are even. And if I'm not mistaken, um, that's all the bales. I don't see none back that way. And I don't see none around this way. Double check. I don't see none. So we got 24 bales. I, I, I like it. I don't even have to count. Just look down there and see. And yeah, pay no attention to it. Feel well, I took out part of the canola with the wind roller. Yeah. So next thing we got to work on is getting us a harvester. Uh, I got 24 bales of, well, 23 bales of hay. And one bale. This thing goes in so slow on the zoom in. 
I got one bale of grass here as you can see and the rest of it is uh hey 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 there we go um this bale spike is definitely gonna go I'll fool around with it a little bit more just to see if I can figure out anything let's go in the thing real quick and see if uh says anything I don't know what that means if anybody knows what that means put it down below in the comments please but we do own it I didn't only paid 600 for it so it's not bad I like it because it was tall you can probably get three or maybe four bales tall probably three and maybe that's how it works um I don't know I can offload. Uh, I, I haven't tried the offload feature on this. Uh, unload bales is why. Transport position. Operate position. Oh, that just uh, takes the auto load on and off. And it just says unload bales. It don't say where. So, um, I got some plans for that area right there. It's going to be a silo. So, I'm going to go over here. The back part's getting a shed. That's coming soon, folks. Uh, we got to have a silo. Got to have a shed, put our equipment in. Okay. I'm going to, hopefully this will be enough room. Fixing to unload the bales. Oh, look at there. Now that's nice, pretty stack. Okay, I'm gonna mess up the stack by grabbing. Okay, uh, nope, this in here. Do that. Okay, so it's those two buttons. And, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to mess them up that way. I'm just going to grab three. If this thing doesn't strap when I do this, it's getting sold. I guess. It does kind of come in handy. Might come in handy feeding the horses. Um, with no collision. That's not good. Let's try this again. Not registering them. Did the trailer do that? Because I was picking them up. I guess it's time to mess up some bales. Oh yeah, we, we got problems now. Whoa. Oh, I don't think I gotta get out of this mess. There we go. I bet you I didn't look when I hit the unload and just thought it unloaded and it's giving me different places to unload. I on here. Uh, yeah, folks, see? It says unload bells here. If I go, it said unload. Uh, abort, abort unloading. It's A. Uh, unload bells. Unload bells here. There. They drop down then. 
lower loading platform. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. We'll load some of them back up. Um, I'm going to detach the trailer and try this again, folks, real quick. And then um, we'll probably call an episode here pretty soon. And they have collision now. Okay, let's try this again. See, it all works out in the wash. It all works out in the wash. Let's see here. Take the tension belt to all. Yeah, see, now it's giving me a reading down there. Alright, uh, tension belt. Oh, look at there. Okay, we're keeping. I'm going to tilt back. Come on, get, get on there. Now they're on there for good. Well, kind of. Okay. So this thing does work. I just was, wasn't using it right. Come on. I want... There we go. You're strapped on now. Ain't what I was wanting, though. Set her down all the way. I'm going to tilt forward a little bit. Give her a good little push. That ain't working. Close enough. Strapping her. Woohoo! Oh, 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 I'm just checking out the uh, hydraulics. <laughs> okay. So we can grab two or three out in the field and then the tension belts works. Or belt. Okay. So it works. So it's a keeper. That'd be what we use to feed the, the horses and cows and stuff with. Oh, Lordy. I came in hot on that, didn't I? Now, I do not like these type of trailers because of the tongue. But um, I'm keeping the bells on the trailer for right now. I know we probably don't need all these. But yeah. Um we don't need it the uh fork or bell spike no more. So I'm just gonna Ooh, run it through the fence, why don't you? And put that on that and drop that off. Oh don't don't oh Oh well, we are going to need, I already got the fertilizer up there, got the planter up there, I guess I'm going to hook on to the little plow, because we might need it, and I'll fold that back, raise that up a little, um, I think this is all we're going to need. You can see over there while I was talking about the fields, some of it's still green. And these two are still way green. But anyway, folks, I guess uh, I'm going to be doing some plowing. So I'm going to fold that. Um trying to think uh, I don't know it'll be next episode 
I, I do know I got to plow that field. Uh, I'm going to wait till the canola is ready. So I might have to fast forward. But uh, I might have to work some missions before I can fast forward or get some money. Um, probably do some harvesting missions off screen. Oh, well, I'm going the wrong way. No. Let's go over the hill. Through the fields, over the hill to grandmother's house we go. I have no idea what I just said, folks. All I know is I'm making a boo boo. Uh, what not it? The plow, plow's hung, going in. Oh, too deep. Oh, that back down. See, this is. <laughs> I, I've been doing this a lot. The the valley's way deeper than what the plow can flex. But it's for y'all wondering uh, about the equipment and stuff setting up here on uh, somebody else's ground. I done talked to the dude. Uh, and the uh, Radio Shack tire over there. He's the one that owns it. And they said, just park it any way you want to down by the trees next to yours, and it'll be fine. But what I do want to do, uh, let's do the do. Mountain do. No, I'm just kidding. No, no hashtag deals, whatever. Uh, what I want to do is go ahead and get the grass part plowed and everything now I'm planning on buying that grassy area there taking the trees out and just having this one big giant grass field even that's going to be grass um, but yeah before I can plow this so I'm fixing a plow and I'm going to be double working myself I have to level it out first that's right. I don't have to worry about the bushes. Except around like maybe the the uh, poles and stuff here. But, um, oh, don't get in that situation again. Okay. Get out. J and Q. Fly my drone here. But around the poles, I'm going to lightly uh, level. Just slightly. Uh, I'm even going to do this here. I'm going to see how far I can go up and just kind of smooth it out, especially that bottom row there and right over here. Uh, we can't go, but maybe uh, five feet out on the back fence. So I ain't worried about that down through there. But that's pretty much the boundary line is where I stop mowing at. So I ain't worried about this side too much, but this over here, you can see like right there is a, a ridge, middle of the screen, and a couple of ridges up there. But I ain't worried too much about them, because this is just going to be grass, but I do have to smooth it out. And as far as uh, over here, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove the weeds and smooth it a little bit, but I'm not going to plant no grass back here. Is this just too much twist and turning? Um, then again, I might. I don't know. The hired workers are going to have a problem with it. So that's what I'm trying to deal with here. Probably just going to come straight out over the fence from there. With the plows. And over to the highway. Apply all that back to the boundary line. And come over to here a little bit. And plow back that way and uh, yeah so uh, I need that in there there's quite a bit of trees there but that's going to cost a little bit saving progress saving 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 let's go to lands and, and you see this is what I got and I'm probably going to work on buying 22 necks 
21, then 20. Now give us all the way over to the restaurant. You know, if I 22, 21, 20. If I had to go with the smaller ones first, that's 227, 147. We probably for that when we start getting our harvesting machine. And 152 and 197. And then, uh, then again, we might just buy like fill 12, 428,000, 438. These are up there pretty good. Uh, I don't want to buy too many of the bigger fields because doing missions, these give you a lot of money doing missions. But I might do biogas and um, let's think with biogas and then fuel seven turn it in the grass Woo, it'd be a lot of silage we could do but uh folks i don't know I, that's what i'm thinking about you know i don't want to be running all over the map i know y'all want to see it but i might do once i get going rolling in the money i'll probably will buy field seven and make a shop that way uh, if course play ever comes out mod the mod course play ever comes out folks we're gonna have a lot to do see right now it's a harvest field 22 but it's only 1500 weed and fill eight seven thousand i'm probably gonna do that and 13 that would give us 10000 right there. But this is where I'm at right now. $355. $355,000. Uh, so that gives us, what, 145000 And that's what's doing right now. If I go and buy a combine, which I can lease one and probably make, quite a bit of money but the combine I'm wanting even if I go with the smallest settings let's go like this it's 285,000 even which now I think it's pretty good I think it's what I was wanting I think I'm going to go with those tires, so 292, so say 293,000, so I'm ways off from having that. I, I can get the Massey Ferguson, but then again, you know, I can go ahead and buy this and, and do the small fields. I can even do the big fields. It'd be better than not having one at all and just upgrade. Turn around, sell this, and uh, maybe get this. And I don't know. Well, that might be what I do. I, I got enough to get it in the header right now if it comes down to it. But it, if not, you know, we'll go. Oh, I hate to do that. Well, I might just go with the Massey instead. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway, I got to get off here. I'm sucking up time, ain't I? But folks, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on this. Uh, I got to do some missions in order to get this done. So I'm going to run back. I'm going to leave this plow here because I need it. Oh, oh, don't un... Uh, I'm going to go get the uh, weeder. Because if I do it myself, I get more money. And uh, I'm going to do those weeding, weeding sessions, uh, weeding missions with my tractor and stuff so I can get the money. And why I'm going to hire a worker to do it. It'll still save. Because what I save with having my own equipment, 
hiring a worker will you know take that spot so I'm still losing money but you know I'm not like I'm leasing it and then hiring because that's double you know what I mean I, I think y'all know what I mean but anyway I'm gonna do that that way the money I make off those missions will level the, I'll have enough money to level the uh, that feel out and get that situated and hopefully when we'll come back we'll be doing some kind of harvesting with some kind of harvester okay so y'all have a great day folks and uh alright yeah okay so see I'm not recording oh no but anyway don't oops <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching folks Y'all are amazing. Y'all are awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm messing with my buttons. OBS is awesome. When we get to know a little bit of something about it. Alright, folks. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. Bye.